We have live team coverage of these two big stories. Let's begin with Alexa Ashwell live with the stunning video and the latest details on that pursuit. Alexa. Yes, right now we're waiting on Baltimore police to confirm three suspects were taken into custody. A spokesperson with BPD confirming this chase began in the southeastern portion of the city after reports of an armed suspect and ended miles away in the county in the middle of the interstate surrounded by innocent drivers. A more than 15 mile high speed chase crossing into Baltimore County from the city and ending here on I 83 just north of the I 695 exchange. This is crazy. People just really are crazy out here. They don't care. Drivers so shocked by the chaos, many stopped their cars on this overpass to see what was happening. According to Baltimore City Police, officers received reports of armed suspects in the southeastern part of the city. From there, a chase ensued from 95 North to 690 and then on to 83 North, where the suspects ditched this blue car in the middle of the interstate and attempted to run from police. I heard that they got all three of the guys that got out of the car. But... This woman says she's lived in the area for years and can't recall a chase like this. Baltimore County Police confirm one of their officers was assisting and injured in the pursuit in Dundalk and taken to an area hospital as a precaution. Live footage of the pursuit also captured the suspect's car hitting another vehicle and individuals tossing items out of the window as they fled from officers. The fact that this is blood up here is a little even a little more than I care to think about. City crime bleeding into the county. The latest statistics showing homicides, non-fatal shootings, and overall violent crime is up citywide compared to this time last year, with some of the biggest spikes in robberies, including carjackings, up at least 40 percent. A little disappointed with the way the city's been going. So Disappointed and fearful of chaos and crimes like this. Now, as we wait to learn more about these suspects and what led up to this chase, we also asked police if they've recovered any weapons or the items that were seen thrown from the car. And if that car was stolen, we're still waiting to hear back. Reporting live outside police headquarters, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News.